So let's dig in. This is excellent as well. Hey guys. So today we're here in Chinatown, Houston, which is located in the southwestern area of the city. And there are a lot of cool places around here. We already made a lot of videos, yep, right? We have. For example, we went to Gogo Curry, mm -hmm. we went to, to Don Cafe, um, Aqua S, and Matcha Cafe Mako. And today we're here because there is a new chain that just came to Houston. It came all the way from Malaysia. Malaysia. Yep. And it's called Papa Rich. Papa Rich is a Malaysian chain, like Sandy said, from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The first location actually opened up in 2005. It is located in the northern part of Kuala Lumpur, which is the capital of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And it's in a place called Batu Caves, which is a very special place that people visit when they go to Malaysia as a tourist. Highly recommend it. There's tons of things to do in Kuala Lumpur. The food is excellent. But today, we're gonna try Malaysian food in Houston, Texas. Fun fact, this place is huge. They have over 90 locations all around the globe, including, I believe, Australia, Australia. Singapore, and New York. So this place is doing something right. Mm -hmm. So I've been here already before with Sandy. We love it. We wanted to show you guys. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to show you what to order, what it tastes like, and what to expect when you come and visit. So let's go and let's check go. it out. And then we'll do one order of the satay mixed. And then for the entrees, we need, want to get one chakwetiao uh, veggie, one curry chicken nasi lama, mm -hmm. uh, one Hainanese chicken rice, and then also one laksa vegetarian. Thank you. The appetizers here. We have Indian inspired dish, it's called Roti Chennai. In Singapore it's actually called Roti Prata, same dish. What I like about this place is they have three different types of curries that you can dip in. A little bit of a sweet curry called sambal. Um, you've got a meat curry, which is like a, I think it's a beef curry here. And then we have a lentil curry as well. And then you've got the beautiful bread here, this is what they eat in Malaysia and Singapore for breakfast and also in the evenings. In Malaysia, they actually throw it in front of everyone where you're sitting. It's kind of a nice show, but really nice that you get it here. Over here, we have satay, which is basically a skewered meat dish with a beautiful peanut sauce. You've got, I believe it's beef and chicken here. This is something that, uh, it's got an Indonesian, Malaysian inspiration. They usually get it on the beach. You'll see guys fanning barbecues with skewered meat on there, and it is a treat as well, so let's dig in. They do give you a little pickled cabbage. It's also got a sweet taste to it. You can eat it with the dishes, or you can just enjoy it like it is right there. Right now. Oh, that's a nice big piece. All right. Mm, excellent. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite of each one and give you my preference of which one I like more. <laughs> Let's go. This is one of my favorite things to eat. It was always something I'd love to go and eat on the beach in Singapore and Malaysia. These sell for like 50 cents a piece back home, which is awesome. Mm, the flavor is really good. It has that very sweet taste to it. It's very reminiscent of back home. I haven't been back for a while. Let's try the chicken though. Out of all the Malaysian places that I've been to in Houston, and there's been quite a few, some come, some go, some are still here, but this place has the best satay that I've had. So really, really big thumbs up from me. All right, we got the chicken here. Oh man, and this one's not as tough. The chicken basically melts in your mouth as well. So I think out of the two, I like the chicken a little more. Usually it's the other way around for me, but they do a really solid job on the chicken. This one's good too. So I have the delicious looking roti chanai right here. It looks really good. It has like a really fluffy appearance. So the name actually looks like it's pronounced roti chanai, but it's actually pronounced roti chanai. So when we went to Singapore, 
we actually tried it over there and you can actually see the people making it right in front of you when you're over there but it's so great to have that actually over here in Houston you actually get three dipping sauces one is lentil based then this is meat based so I will pass on that one and this is like it has like a sweet sourish taste to it this one is called sambal it's my favorite so let's dig in we'll just break a little piece from here and then I just dip it into my favorite one, the sambal. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. And the bread is very soft inside but crispy on the outside. It tastes really fresh, it's amazing. And the sambal, it's actually spicy and it's so delicious. And then I will dip into the lentil based. You actually eat this in the morning or in the evening. It's a very popular dish. So, Mm. So here I have the vegetable laksa, it looks really good. It is a spicy noodle soup. So it consists of egg noodles and it comes with a curry paste and it's also made with coconut milk. I have on the side the sambal chini. Let's dig in. Just the broth first. It has a very savory and rich taste to it. You can clearly taste the curry and the coconut. It's so good. And then here in the bottom, you can see there are the noodles. And it comes with so much great stuff in it. Like it has the noodles, it has an egg, and here it has pieces of tofu. Very delicious and everything tastes so fresh. If you like your dishes like really spicy, like me, then you should add sambal. I like to put it in here as an addition, even though it's already super flavorful. But just to add a little bit of spice, the sambal is perfect. So I just mix it in here. Mm -hmm. it's so good. The ingredients are all super fresh, like they're so crispy when you bite on them. Okay, so we have the Hainanese chicken rice, which is a big, big deal in Malaysia and in Singapore as well. It is a dish that originated from the different types of cultures and people, especially from Chinese side of uh, the uh, cuisine. So this is a steamed chicken with white rice over here with a trinity of sauces. We have a soy sauce here. It's like a, a sweet soy sauce. And then you've got a ginger sauce as well as a chili sauce here. I like to call them the trinity of sauces. Growing up, you just put a bunch of this on the rice. Here in the US, it's a little bit more of a hot commodity, so definitely don't have as much to just drizzle everywhere, but a very, very nice, generous portion. You get a nice little broth here. This is not just any white rice. This white rice has a little bit more flavor to it. And then you've got the chicken here with skin on, and it is uh, steamed chicken. Get a little bit of the rice. And if you could smell this, there's no smell of vision but if you could smell this, it wouldn't just smell like any white rice. You could eat the rice by itself, to be honest. Put a little chili on it. Good. And then let's put some chicken. Some people like it with the skin on and some don't. First, we'll get this uh, nice soy sauce. thing is it's thicker, right? It's got a sweet taste to it. And we get a little bit of the ginger. You just scoop it up like that and you got a bite. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that bite had a lot of flavor. I gotta say, their chicken is really good here. Satay was good. This is excellent as well. I've seen other places that have chicken rice in the US, and the chicken's super dry. And this one is just not that way at all. So huge, huge thumbs up for me. The chicken rice here is very solid. So here I have my second entry. This, I cannot get enough. This one is called Cha Kwa Tuao. Cha Kwa Tuao. Cha Kwa Tuao. Cha Kwe Tia. Cha Kwe. Cha Kwe. Cha Kwe. Cha Kwe. Cha Not so easy for me, but I'm trying my best here. <laughs> it's a flat rice noodle with eggs, different kinds of vegetables. You can get it with seafood, only vegetables. You can get it with beef or chicken. There are so many varieties of it. This one next to the laksa soup is my favorite dish. It comes so nicely prepared here, like this plate, and it's served on a banana leaf. So let's dig into it. It's still really hot. 
very flavorful. It has like a slightly sweet taste and tart taste to it. The vegetables, they're all really crisp and fresh. Okay, so what we have here is probably my favorite breakfast dish of all time for uh, Malaysian Singaporean food. It is called nasi lama. So you have a mountain of coconut rice here and you can get it with different variations. When I was growing up, you'd have it with fried chicken, fried egg. They have fish called ota. Um, a lot of very tropical islandy kind of flavors in this dish. Got chicken curry, some cucumbers. This is that pickled cabbage with some carrots in it. Sweet pickled. And then you've got some boiled eggs. This is salted fish. Got some peanuts here, some sambal, which I believe is a prawn based or shrimp based. For me, this is liquid gold because growing up, you could not find that here. So once again, to see this here, I've seen different variations where they just put some sambal ole chili, which is just a red chili paste. Not really the sambal you get with this dish authentically. I've had this before here and I typically get this dish when I'm here because I love it so much. Let us dig in. And again, like the chicken rice, Mix the flavors as you'd like. If you want to have one bite of something, go for it. If you want to mix it with everything else, do it as well. I will just put a little bit of the sambal and rice in there. I like to put a little bit of everything on the first bite. Okay, we get some of that salted fish. And this kind of just gives it a nice crunch. You know, it's amazing to have that crunch. And put some chicken curry on there. Yeah work just like that. So that is what the spoon is used for, folks. So for everyone that questions why we eat with fork and spoon, this is why. All right. Cut that crunch. These two just clash with, with everything inside and just amplifies the taste and the experience. This is just an amazing dish to have for breakfast. People have it for lunch and dinner nowadays as well. You'll see lines of places in Malaysia and Singapore of the places that have the best nasi lama. So if you're ever in Malaysia, look for the lines, get inside, wait, you'll be very happy you did. This rice is coconut rice. It is not plain white rice. So it has a very special flavor and it is different from the chicken rice rice. So it is a little confusing, I know, but you have this video to, to look back and know exactly what you'd like or want to order. But again, coconut rice, nasi lama. And I ordered the chicken curry. You can get it with a sambal, and I believe they have it in a beef curry as well. And you can mix and match as you'd like. But I went for the chicken, just because this is a lot of food already, and we've had a couple other dishes, but um, I like to change it up every now and then too. So. so we have here the ABC. So this is the, the ice. Batu Kampur. Ice in Malaysia, they spell it A-I-S, but it is like ice, shaved ice here. You've got some red bean topping, peanuts. This is called chendol, which is a grass jelly, like something I've always seen in the sweets. <laughs> Corn, and then you've got some tapioca jelly, I believe, or grass jelly here. Mix it, so we're about to ruin the creation, but all in the name of <laughs> food reviews. You just kind of mix on the bottom here and you'll see there's some syrups there. There's some syrup on top here. So um, basically it's our version of shaved ice in Malaysia, Singapore. These countries have really hot weather and it's humid. So we need good shaved ice and that's what we have here. So let us dig in. Oh, and they do put like condensed milk, I believe. Just get whatever you want, just like the nasi lama. <laughs> Mix it up or eat what you like. Mm. Oh yeah, it's nice. Give us some to try if you come here. And leave some space for dessert. Yep. Hey guys! So we just finished here at Papa Rich. How did you like it? Oh, I love this place. It's so amazing. You know, the food, the quality, the service is on point. Yeah. Outstanding. Yes, mm -hmm. A plus from yeah. me like the taste of the food is amazing yes oh my God. and the price is actually really really competitive i must say you yeah, know with is. all the food we mm -hmm. ordered i've been to other restaurants and what we ordered would have cost well over a hundred dollars i think definitely yeah like i think with uh, a generous tip it was like 70 bucks yeah so you know really so good. that's yeah. that's to me amazing good value good taste good quality good service it everything is. you'd want in an amazing restaurant for and sure all the ingredients you can tell they're fresh they are yes it's there's a lot of complex flavors mm -hmm. and you can't serve two-day-old 
sauce or sambal because it's made of you know shrimp and the little fishes like the yeah. salted fish those things you you can keep them for a bit but once you make a sauce it has to be fresh one thing i will point out though is the parking lot which this uh restaurant is located in is a little bit crazy during the weekends mm -hmm. so the earlier you come in the day or if you want to come on a weekday like we did today it came about 5 p.m 5 p.m yeah and that was so it was yeah still. it was quiet plenty of space parking people are still kind of watching for spots so mm. just be patient find yourself a spot well in advance it's and worth it so it it's is worth it's it. worth it it's mm. definitely worth it they have a parking garage as well but i've seen it on the weekends and it does get, get packed mm. so that's a good thing right it's it's packed meaning that there's a lot of good food here and the value people are seeing that so that's why they're coming to visit be sure to check them out they do to go orders i believe mm -hmm. um yeah, I with so. food delivery apps you can look them up they do have a few locations in new york as well and they've got locations all over the world apparently mm -hmm. there's like 80 plus in malaysia and just there's they're they're growing and i and Even i get saudi it arabia and yeah i think saudi thinking. arabia is coming soon which brings me to another point their food is halal according to the staff inside they didn't have any kind of signs or anything but it is halal mm -hmm. um, malaysia is a muslim country so halal is something that is very much the norm over there um, there were two dishes though however they did say are not halal and those are the chicken wings and the chicken rice that i had that was not halal so um, if you do only eat halal just make sure you ask them beforehand but according to the staff inside you know they they have said that it is halal they don't serve any kind of pork products as well mm -hmm. so come in and enjoy some really good malaysian food with your family and friends let us know in the comments if you have tried them before or if there's another malaysian restaurant or dish that you would recommend us to try and we'll yeah. try our best to do that mm -hmm. with that said we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.